and I'm also going to show you how to rotate an image and then we're going to be able to trace over it. This is a great way to take either a hand-drawn drawing or anything that you've got scanned from a computer uh, that's a JPEG in this instance and bring it into CAD and be able to trace over it. So I'm going to actually purposefully rotate this image just a little bit to pretend we have that problem. Okay? Okay, so let's say for instance someone put this on a scanner and it didn't rot um, it was skewed a little bit so you don't have nice straight lines. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to correct this. Alright, so we're going to come up to the rotate command on the um, on the panel. And again, I'm going to select the image and I'm going to select this line. Okay, it's going to ask me for a base point. I'm going to pick the end of the line. And again, it's going to ask me the rotation angle. Now, I don't know what the angled number would be to get this to be straight, but we can reference that line. So to do that, I'm going to type in R, enter. And now it asks me to specify the reference angle. So again, I'm going to pick that endpoint and I'm going to pick the other end of the line. Now the computer has that angle in its memory. And now it's asking me, what is the new angle that I want? Well, the new angle I want is zero. I'm going to type zero, enter. And you can see there that it straightens the image right out. It brings that line down to zero. Okay, so now we'll have a nice straight image to work with. Okay, now the fun part. Um, I'm going to erase that line that we drew on the image and I'm going to change my layer to the wall layer. Okay, now at this point we can just use construction lines um, to draw and offset um, the lines onto this so that we can kind of get the outer foundation of this particular um, house. Okay, so I'm going to come up to construction line horizontal and I am going to I right about there okay and I'm just gonna do a couple of offsets and then also we're gonna offset 12 feet here alright so now this may look a little confusing we've got a lot of lines here um, so one of the things I like to do before I start trimming is to make my image appear um, a lot lighter in the background so um, if we come over here to the image and we grip it, make sure there's no command on the command line when you do that, uh, you'll notice that the panel changes up here. And now I'm going to slide the fade bar over to the right to about 60. Okay? And see how the image now is much lighter. Okay, I'm going to hit escape. And that makes my line stand out a little bit. I'm going to put my line weight button on there. See, now my lines stand out. Now I'm going to show you a nice trick for trimming. Okay, I'm going to come up to the fillet command. And I'm going to set the radius to zero, which it already is. And with the radius at zero, I can just pick the two lines that I want to fill it. I'm just going to come around here okay and it looks like I need to add one more line in here and I'll fill it that and fill it this okay so there we have it there is the outer edges of the foundation of the small house okay so anyway that's the beginning to using images scaling your image one-to-one -one rotating your image into position, and drawing on top of it. I hope that helps, and I hope you stay tuned for the next tutorial.